Becoming a pro at selling shocks and struts comes down to knowledge. But sometimes it's a little tricky because many of your customers might not understand the difference between shocks, springs, and struts. So let's talk about what differentiates these parts so you'll be fully prepared the next time you get a question at the counter. The suspension of a vehicle includes every component that supports the weight of the vehicle and travels up and down in response to the road surface, driving conditions, or vehicle load. Springs are the components that support the actual weight of the vehicle, but they're just one part of the suspension. Shock absorbers are the components that dampen the movement of the springs. The term strut is a shortened reference to the McPherson strut design of suspension. A strut suspension differs from a traditional suspension in the manner that the spring and shock are assembled together as a unit that mounts to the vehicle body on top and an axle component on the bottom. The top of the assembled unit includes rubber mounting, and in the case of front suspension, a bearing to allow it to rotate in response to steering. The assembled coil spring and shock absorber unit is referred to as the strut, but from a functional standpoint, you can still think of them as a shock, spring, and related mounting components, because that's all they are. One possible point of confusion is the coilover. A coilover is a coil spring mounted over a shock absorber. It's basically the same thing as a strut, except coilovers typically are smaller with adjustable coil spring perches, which makes them a very versatile choice for performance suspensions, allowing adjustable ride height and use in a variety of suspension designs. But don't let the fancy name throw you, it's just a spring and a shock. In addition to these, there are many different types and variations of suspension. Regardless of what they are, there are always springs that support the weight of the vehicle and shocks that dampen the movement. Each wheel on a vehicle has a shock or strut, but not both. However, a vehicle might have struts in the front or shocks in the rear. Most new cars and small SUVs have strut front suspension. Some have strut rear suspension, but separate coil spring, shock absorber rear suspensions are just as common. Full-size trucks and SUVs typically have upper, lower, A-arm suspension in front and leaf spring suspension in the rear. Here's the bottom line. Shocks are not struts, and struts are not shocks, but a shock is part of a strut. On a vehicle that has separate suspension springs and shocks, you can replace one or the other. On a vehicle that has strut suspension, you also can replace one or the other. You can think about it like this. Regardless of the type of suspension, the same components are there and they do the same things. They just differ in the way they're put together. We hope this will help you provide some clarity for your customer the next time you get a question about the differences between shocks and struts. Thanks for watching.